Trini and Annie. Hi. <laughs> it's eclectic week. Which is not saying throw the kitchen sink at an outfit, but what it's saying is there's hardly any rules. If it was in the 20s, it would be called Bohemian, just when the Edwardian era was ending and before the Roaring Twenties. And women started to come out of corsets and they had this freedom in dressing. And eclectic is actually, I think, not conforming. A million percent. Mm. Well, also the time that women probably were starting to wear trousers and stuff like yes, that exactly. as well. And everything else was softening in that direction yeah. too. But we got some things here. And I think the fabrics and textures in this are everything. It's silks. It's probably could be tweeds. I don't think it's hard cottons. Mm -hmm. I think there's sort of a luxe to it. And it's definitely a combination of lurex and sequin and a bit of faux fur together. Textures. Mm. Exciting textures. Textures that maybe you would avoid ordinarily every day. Yeah. Some people yeah. would. Yeah. Yes. And you can layer on layer and layer. You can layer on layer on layer. So it's going wild. This is really unusual, but in case you have a trouser which is very stiff fabric, stiff fabric doesn't hang well if it breaks on the shoe. Yeah. They overwhelmed anything I wore. So I then said, as Susanna, let's cut them off and make them ankle. And then what should we do with these? So maybe not with the Lurex, but I then had them made into cuffs so that I could put them on, let's say, a navy jumper and I want something a little bit more interesting and it just adds a dimension to it. Yeah. It's, it's quite and no waste. Actually. And no waste of fabric, exactly. <laughs> the shoes are the perfect goal to match those they trousers. Are, they are. Yeah, because we were thinking should it be something like, you know, would we even also do something like that? Because leopard print and pink go well together and there is a pink coat going on this. Mm. So we're just going to try both and we can all think which one looks better. So This is a very difficult decision. Okay, which one do you like to wear with that? Or that? Um, I actually love the gold. I think it extends your leg a yes. lot more. Annie? I think you're right. I yeah. like the gold too. Yeah. The gold it is. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's put the gold back on and let's show you the final outfit. But I quite like Ooh, also the la. gold poking out there. Yeah. So like that. That adds a dimension. I don't know if the green is too dark for the trouser, but I sort of love that flash of everything. We might consider belting it because, you know, it just had to have some gold doing that with it too, with the green popping out. That Gold ties cuff. it together. Actually, you do really love the belt. You can shape it. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. I mean, so. I've got this, mm -hmm. like I'm just about to be the surgeon. Yeah, the stethoscope. You know? <laughs> that would be fully on eccentric, I think. That. What is the rule for is more more? Less is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But I'm, I'm sort of wanting something light out of you. I'm yeah. not just wondering about the green, but. I almost expect the gold there because of the gold cuff. Yeah. So the other thing is to put the gold here if it fit. Ooh. Are we missing then the gold on the cup? I mean, we want it everywhere, don't we? Yeah. We to everywhere, don't. So we're building the outfit, Jemima, and we're just checking now different jewelry. We were thinking we wanted some gold around the thing. So I've got this necklace, which we could use because it brings the green. Mm. But when I take my outfit off, does it still feel fab? It doesn't want to just be the entrance moment with eclectic. You've got to be able to take the layers off so that you're not sweating like a pig <laughs> and still feel you've got that moment. So yeah. if I bring the trouser up, that's crucial here, getting the waistband in the right place. If you're wearing an ankle strap with a shoe, you need to have the trouser at a point you see the ankle strap like that. Okay. If you took the belt off with the coat, would you add the belt back on to this outfit? To this outfit like that. Yeah. It doesn't it's work. See, it just, even though we say more is more, it's got to be more in the right place. And then we add this on. Now I've got the trousers higher. I'm going to put the belt on the location of the waistband like that. Mm -hmm. and I'm not going to have it closed. But I think I want to see that bit of the trousers. So if you are wearing a belt over a coat and you feel it doesn't matter what your shape is to do this, it's winching it in. So whether you're a size 22 or a size 8, it's getting that shape. But if you do it like that, you'll feel like a big full teddy. So it's important to see some leg and maybe separate out the coat so the lapel is there. You're still getting the look and you can just do that. Such a good tip. Gold, pink and green are fabulous oh together, my aren't God, they? Are they? They're just like, and it's so different if we had red here. The pink makes it work. Okay, so what make are you wearing, Trini? I've got on that lovely chance as a base. Mm -hmm. It's like a dirty rose pink. Mm -hmm. And then over, we put Joy, our new inner light shade. And then a little bit of Sasha mm -hmm. Lip Love on the lips, <laughs> which were kind of, you can wear with pink and you can wear so many colors, Sasha. It's a very versatile shade. It's got a bit of apricot in it, a bit of pinkiness in it. And then cheeks. Cheeks is just wigs. Very glowy. What's oh. going on here? <laughs> 
So we're deliberating here. This is, this is like where Annie goes crazy. It's about do we do leopard print with this look? For me, the bugbear is when you see the skin above, because I just think it's got to be long enough when I'm trying to pull it down. I've got that belt on again. It is the epitome of eclectic. I might do it higher like that, so it's covering the button. The thing about the leopard is because it's a print with a print, it's softer than if I wear a block colour, and I think I see why you love it so much. It actually looks quite neutral, the leopard as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's fabulous. A little bit of the Inner Light collection today, and we're going to use passion over what? Chances. Chances. Chance, yeah. And we're going to smoke it out with passion. Mm -hmm. I already have the shape using chance, so I'm just dabbing. So it's quite a good trick that, to just yeah. create a shape with something that's not so contrasting. So it's like the template. And then I'm just tapping, then using my clean finger to push the product out. Oh yeah! Just a bit of candlelight, yeah. just to freshen up the lovely cheeks. And then I'm just going to go in a little bit more onto the lid. And there we have it. This has such happy memories for me because this um, outfit is from so many different times in my life that I have bought Prada. And um, apart from the boots, everything is Prada. So of all these things, the first Prada thing that I bought was this bag, which is actually, this is Venice. And every few years, um, Mutu Prada has done a collection where she's had a beautiful painting done of a town in Italy. This is actually Milan and it's a Duomo in Milan. Wow. And so that was the first piece. The second piece I got, I have to remember here, but I think it was this necklace. And there was a time when she did these amazing necklaces and I had quite a few of them. And I think I have a brown one left, but that goes there. So you're turning it into a collar. Yeah, I mean, it can be long, but for this instance, I do actually want it around the neck. And I love the way that it has the biscuit beige mm. that's in the skirt and then the red. And then the next bit is this, thank you, <laughs> which is a coat that I got probably about 25 years ago. That's my, really my love affair with Prada in an outfit. It's amazing that the bag and skirt nearly match. I know, and I'm just so happy to wear them together. So makeup, John, we did. We have Empress on the eyes and then on top we have Sun and then a little bit of chance uh, under the bottom lash line. And uh, you normally do your Jamie, but because this is quite washing out, you've mm -hmm. done schmuggy. Just a little bit of schmuggy on top. Yeah, yeah just and a little bit of colour. it just pops it a bit more. Yeah, because you've got the red already and that mm -hmm. biscuity colour, you need to be careful without yeah. going too red. I thought for a second a red lip, but I think it's nicer to pick up on the brown. Well, John was like, no, I'm going to do Empress. Yeah. <laughs> so it was Empress. So there's the final outfit. The twirl in the skirt makes me feel like a little girl. And also, Annie showed me a good way because I was like, I never know how to hold a ladylike bag. Okay. Um, and then that feels like my mum. So Annie was like, why don't you treat it like a clutch and hold it like that? Oh, that's cool. Which just felt more modern. Thank yeah. You. Trini, what makes this outfit feel eclectic to you? Is it the print? A mixture of all the fabrics again, like we were talking about at the beginning. It's a history as well. I think we have mention that much but you might have inherited a little sort of family heirloom or a lovely piece of fabric from the family member or a coat or something and it's about then how can you build on that i love the fact that a part of this story of being eclectic for me this is a history of my relationship with a brand that i love over 28 years if you're a brunette yeah. is it difficult wearing brown because you don't do it too often for me, it is to. I know lots of brunettes who look amazing in brown, but they might have beautiful brown eyes. With blue eyes, wearing this khaki brown, what I call, I've had a really bad tummy problem. Brown. <laughs> it's not so great. This colour, because there's suede and there's texture to it, is better on my skin tone. This on its own needs some help. That's why the necklace is really good to frame my face. So, so I have to be very careful on those brown tones, yeah. Do you yeah. wear brown, Jemima? Never. Never. I'm tempted to get the medium large because I want the shoulder pads to be broader. What is it, Trini? It's what I call a fringe cape, bit of nothingness, which could be a bit of everything. It's sort of wearing a necklace across your whole body, but it has the potential that you can wear it over black and just do that. Mm -hmm. I just have to get the friends to all behave. So I could do <laughs> that, I could just do up that and have that there. Yeah. Or dear John, who whenever something comes which has got an eclectic to it, is there in a worm, and you could also do it that way around. Mm. I prefer the other way around. Mm. I think I want to break up the black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to see that. What uh, about the so. socks, guys? So, okay. well, let's talk about the sock. If I had a silver, silver one, it'd be the best. But it's either one has that eclectic of that little sock moment. <gasps> 
Yes, I think that will do it. She's Thank got you. the sock. She's got the sock. She's got the sock, and that's the sock I wanted. And it's just got the right amount of silver. So we take, but these are very part of eclectic story. Right, colour tights, we said too. We did. Mm -hmm. But, so those I get from Kos and from, and other stories. These are black ones I got from Tabio, which is used to be opposite my house. Yellow tights, red tights, all those different coloured tights. So we're gonna now try these, which have enough of the black and silver in them. They might be oh, I love a sparkly sock. Ooh, yeah, because yeah. it's just, it's not too gold. And then I think in this, I would go for cupping. If I think it needs that little finishing off at the bottom. I think the other one's next door, but that finishing off there. Yeah. I think I'll probably take the Zara label. But this is such a fun way for women to get into eclectic, because that's basically a black outfit and you've it's, added that. It's so true, Jemima. It's one thing and it just gives you, it's like slightly Victoriana. It's just so cool. Yeah. I think it's cooler like this than seeing it on his own website. Definitely. <laughs> We've got on a base of Empress with some fortune over the top, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there's the universe is smoked in on the outer corners of the eye. And then Eugenie lip locks on the lips. And Dido and wigs and sh wigs, flush blush and schmucky flush blush. Ooh. No. We've done a lot of categories. We are heading into spring. The daffodils are up. There's plants and flowers in the park. So what would you like to see is my first question and give me some ideas. But secondly, I am working on a project and all the things we've done that kind of from eclectic to softly feminine to very sexy to boho to rock chick. I haven't named all of them. I want you to rise to the challenge of the Trinity Tribe and go in your wardrobes and have a look and send us your pictures, put them on the tribe, and we want to include the best ones in this project. So I'm giving you a little more information now. I can't wait to see what you do in your wardrobe with these looks that I hope have inspired you. Yeah, we love seeing them. Yeah, thanks Jemima. Thanks, and thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.